How's it going everyone? How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh aka The Lonely Hermit and today is a bit of a weird one. So unfortunately episode, I recorded episode 12 and 13 but of course my mic did not record at all so it's literally me going like for the entire time and I doubt you guys would want to see that. So what I'm going to do or what I ended up doing was taking the game footage because I still had the game footage and I basically compiled it into about a 20 minute video of, of both 12 and 13. Just the highlights, just the big moments because we did take on a gym. We did get a few encounters so and we did have some story stuff. So I just wanted to compile it up and make sure it was all good. But if you guys are new here, please, I know it's a bit of a weird one. This is not usually what I do. But if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on the video. Go check out my Twitter and Instagram in the description, both at HermitLonely underscore and yeah so it's a bit of a weird one let's get right into it i'm gonna be watching it pretty much at the same time as you guys are watching the gameplay as well just commentating over it just telling you guys really what happened but let's get right into it so we begin with episode 12 of this game the hard gold nuts like so we started with the team recap raining the badoo aftermath mega drain sunspark growth worry seed level 31 holding the suit belt igor the vigoroth with the silk scarf rocket is his ability with strength slash uproar and endure and then we move on to why am I staying on Igar for so long? We move on to why am I we move on to work the fortress of the King's Rock. Uh static has his ability with twin needle, mirror shot, bug bite, and spikes, the champion, of course, work. Moving on to the big one, honestly, from this one. After grinding, uh, I was really, really frustrated with this next one. Oh yeah, I did teach work mirror shot, by the way, to give him another stab move in that one. I think that's what I'm saying right here. That's why I'm going over mirror shot i literally i don't remember everything i said so i apologize if i missed certain things but we move on to the big one here it's sphinx evolved into luxury and unfortunately got normalized as his ability he has spark roar charge and charge spark bite roar and charge but with normalized as his ability it basically means we don't have an electric type anymore it means that sphinx is essentially a normal type uh, no more stab no more electric type moves it's really unfortunate uh, we lose spark we lose bite as well that was a good psychic type counter aside from work uh so it's really unfortunate luxury had to evolve and had to get normalized uh, honestly if i would have known i would have just left it as luxio i really would have because we would have at least had an electric type but fortunately sphinx got normalized and that's what we're kind of stuck with versus the series then we have belly the Zumro with trace as her ability with surf bubble beam rollout and aqua ring holding the quick claw which actually has proc a few times while i've been grinding and stuff like that but then we move on to another big one after this, another evolution after I was done grinding. Of course, Badu, Raynan take took forever to finally evolve. It wasn't, it's not until this next episode is gonna come up is when she evolves. But we get Gloop the Gastrodon with Surf, Rain Dance, Mud Bomb, and Hidden Power. Swift Swim as his ability. That's actually pretty big because I could set up a Rain Dance. I could have gotten Body Slam, but I ended up going against it and keeping Rain Dance, keeping Fire Hidden Power. Obviously, I wanted to stab Surf, stab Mud Bomb, so we ended up keeping Rain Dance and hidden Fire Hidden Power over the, I think it was Body Slam. I think, yeah, I think Body Slam was what I could have learned. But we ended up keeping Rain Dance and Hidden Power. Again, I think Fire Hidden Power is useful. Rain Dance is set up for his ability in that one. Now, that was a team key recap for episode 12. Then we moved on, went to the where Lighthouse Warehouse. Went to the lighthouse. Obviously, we had already taken it on before we went to Sandwood, uh, but we take we get the lighthouse to go up. Something I was talking about here, I'm pretty sure was about Jasmine because I the reason I had to grind, reason my Pokemon level 31 is that her Pokemon are level 30, level 30, and then level 35 because you can skip around in the gyms. You can kind of go around, go everywhere. Right here, we're giving uh, Amphi the Amphros the medicine. Uh, so for this one, you can. You can skip, you can skip gym leaders so the, the levels of the gym leaders are kind of out of whack. So Jasmine's level 30, level 30, and her ace is 35. So I, I, I risked it and I just said, screw it, I don't want to go all the way to level 35. I feel like that's too over leveled uh, for everything that follows Jasmine. So I left everyone at level 31 and go into the, and well, yeah, we go into the gym with level 31s in that one. Uh, so we give the medicine to Amphros in the lighthouse, move on to the gym. Uh, I honestly thought right here we were at the battle. I forgot that you technically battle these people in the lighthouse, so they don't battle you here. So we have this long go to Jasmine. Right here, I would believe I was talking about the question of the day for episode 12, which will be in the little scroll. Uh, what is your favorite steel type Pokemon? And before I commented over the battle, to quickly go over, I basically chose, I believe Aegislash was my number one. 
Uh, I also said Mawile, but I would put Mawile as my favorite fairy type because I really like Mawile. I love Mega Mawile as well. Uh, I think Mawile is really cool, but I would probably put it as my fairy type. So that's why I, I'd probably put Aegis Lash as my number one steel type. And I think I also said someone else who I'm not. Oh, uh, Carablast. I also said Carablast. Carablast is pretty good. The quad weakness kind of sucks, but it's still like the design. I, I As much as I don't really like the way Carablast and Shelmet evolve, the fact that they, when they cross in the trade evolution, they pick up each other's traits, right? Shelmet loses the armor, Carablast picks up the armor. I think that's really cool. But I think I'd still put Aegislash as my number one steel type. Maybe Scizor would be up there too, but I think Aegislash takes the cake. Now right here, right away, we picked up with Rhyhorn. Jasmine sends out Rhyhorn as her level 30. Of course, I have workout. And I'm debating right here whether to set up spikes or not because I don't want to get hit with a fat like magnitude or something. I ended up going through it with through with it anyways. I just set up spikes to mess up the rest of the team to disrupt the flow there. But the the Rhyhorn chooses to use Rock Blast, which honestly did not help its case. It was, it was I mean, work eats basically every physical attack. So that really did nothing. <laughs> that did nothing to work. Uh, and then I decided to just hard switch into belly. Didn't want to risk a magnitude at the end of the day. Didn't want to risk any ground time moves going against uh, work there. So I just brought in belly. Uh, his scary face, which is good for us. We got a clean switch in. And and then her next Pokemon comes up. In just a second right here, you can see Executor. And I was like, okay. It clicked in my head. It took me a second, but it clicked in my head. Oh, wait, work is a bug type. That is quite effective against Executor because, you know, bug beats grass, bug beats psychic. Those are both Executor types. And then right here, I was like, please level 35, please level 35, please level 35, please level 35, please level 35. And of course, it was her level 35. So that was huge. That was honestly huge because, and it put me to sleep. That's pretty much was my reaction. It was huge. I was really excited. And then it put me to sleep. So obviously I had to tell, I had to burn a turn. Uh, right there, burn the turn. I had to burn another turn to get the awakening off. I was a little confused right there because I clicked HP and I thought I didn't have awakenings, but it's on a different, whole different category. Uh, so I went ahead, used the awakening on work, and Executor find out has Truant. I honestly forgot about that Truant. I was so excited, so excited that this freaking Executor had Truant. I was so happy because it meant at her level and it didn't die. But I did eat Citrus Berry, which is huge. But yeah, I was so excited that her level 35 had true. I was so happy because it just made it easier and she would drink. Literally every time I got excited, I kid you not, every time I got excited, something happened that, that ruined the excitement. And that was another one. She brought in a freaking Growlithe, of course, fire type that is quad effective against work. So naturally I had to switch out. Ended up bringing, I think, Gloop over. Yeah, and brought in Gloop instead of Belly. Just to handle to handle the Growlithe, just no no real problems there. Uh, I love Gastrodon's Cry, by the way. Uses Fire Fang right there. I'm just saying no burn, no burn, no burn. Doesn't burn, and we just simply surf. That should one shot. It also speeds me. Of course, Gastrodon is pretty slow. Gets another Fire Fang off. Doesn't burn again, and we get the surf off, and I, that kills the Growlithe. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it kills the Growlithe. It kills the Growlithe. So we're able to move on in the gym. We go back to the Executor, and I was just like, all right, this is easy. We won. We won. We got this. We got this. We got this. Uh, work will come in. Work will, you know, hit a, hit the Executor with a fat bug bite, and we'll be good to go. So I send out work. She sends out her Executor, and if you remember, at the beginning of the battle, I set up spikes, and it killed the Executor, and we got our six gym badge, took down Jasmine. We were very, very fortunate that her level 35 wasn't something that was a lot harder to deal with. We really just got, we got so lucky there that her level 35 was an executor and it was quad, you know, we were quite effective against it. So very fortunate there. We got our six gym badge and awesome. I mean, I, it was so exciting, so amazing. I was honestly going crazy there. She gave us a TM, TM23, and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this one because it could potentially be useful in the future. Only one, I think only one Pokemon can learn it. We're about to check right now. TM23 turned out to be Flamethrower. And I was like, that, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Uh, but I think only Azumarill can learn it. So now we skip to back to Cyanwood because on my way to Olivine or something like that, I had gotten a call or something that said Safari Zone is good to go. So I decided let's end the episode or let's you know continue after the gym, heading to the Safari Zone. And that's exactly what we did. Now we headed through the gate, made it to 47, and we ended up going to the inside the cave 
and we got an encounter here which turned out to be the one that we missed a while ago it was Seville and I was honestly pretty happy about that I obviously had Raynan at the front she's the only one that has a status move so we hit it with the, hit the sphere with the fat sun spore but uh, uh, yeah we missed out on Seville a few episodes ago if you remember in the cave we unfortunately did not get that encounter. I actually went back and checked, and it was I got really scared right there because it was an ice ball, and of course Raiden weak is weak to you know ice, and it's a bit still baby Pokemon, so its stats aren't very high. So we got very lucky there, and so work send in work. Work can resist everything. Sveal tries to throw it. It gets paralyzed, so we get a clean switch in. Uh, go ahead and just toss a ball right away. I believe this first ball does catch. I want to say it does one, two, three catches. There it is. So we get a spiel. I, I, I honestly, a really solid backup. Another water type. Uh, we get it. <laughs> it's not the last one we get this episode, but another water type to add to the box. A very solid pickup, to be honest. Walrein is a pretty solid Pokemon. I actually go ahead and name spiel Tusk. So if you remember in Fire Red, we had our Crobat named Teeth because of the fangs. So we named Walrein to our spiel Tusk after the Tusk, Tisk, whatever. Uh, I don't know, Tusks? Tusks? Is that the plural? But then we get our other encounter in the water. It is a Slowpoke Slip. Makes a return, sort of. This one's a female, our Slip is a male, so we'll we'll get to the name in a little bit. But Slowpoke actually proved to be pretty challenging. So Raynan goes ahead. Again, Sun, uh, the only one with the status move, so naturally I have to throw her up front to try and catch Pokemon. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, and also, the thing that kind of annoyed me with all these Pokemon, by the way, was that everyone was level 18, 19. Uh, it really was annoying because that means I'm gonna have to train even more. Hopefully, no one dies, but if anyone does, it's gonna be really difficult trying to train up all these Pokemon. It's gonna take me a second. But we stun Spurs Slowpoke, and so right here, I think I debate for a second. Should I use Mega Drain? Should I not? So I'm, I, I think I sit here for a second, really trying to decide. Do I use Mega Drain? Do I not? I decided to just toss the Great Ball right off the bat. Decided to just try and catch a Slowbro as quickly as possible. Uh, one thing I was afraid of was Confusion, but I don't think the Slowpoke ended up using any Psychic type moves. But it, as you can see, it broke out of the first ball, and I just decided, okay, let me just try an Ultra Ball. I tried a Great Ball. Let's try an Ultra Ball. This should catch. This should be good. And it only shook once. No. Oh no, it shook three times. I was like, okay, we got it, and it broke out. And this is just a long saga here of me trying to catch this stupid slowpoke. Slow uh, <laughs> it, it was a little more annoying than I, than I expected, but honestly, again, another pretty solid water type pickup because it is dual typing, it's water psychic. So a good water type pickup there. Obviously, I have experience with slowpoke and we managed to catch it on the second Ultra Ball. I was debating what to name it, but ultimately I decided to go with, if I think the video, I think it skips right here. I decided to name it Plip. <laughs> I don't know why. I just said it slip, flip. I just replaced the first letter of the name, named it Plip. Uh, but then we move on to the grass later on in the route, right before we enter Safari Zone to get this encounter. We get a Furret, which actually, compared to everything else on in the grass right there, I was happy with because all the other Pokemon were pretty, pretty not great. Uh, but Furret's a decent Pokemon, decent normal type, so I decided, you know, it's good, solid. Uh, I think it took me a second, it took me a couple. Actually, no, I think it took one ball, honestly. I think it took one ball to catch it. I was, uh, as, as Patters would probably affectionately refer to it as uh, Box, <laughs> I didn't name it that. I named it a little more basic name, uh, if I remember correctly. But I think one ball was all we needed. One great ball. Uh, one, two, three. Caught. Perfect. One great ball was all we needed. And boom. There we go. Boom goes dynamite. We caught it. For its ours. I went ahead and I believe I named it Stripe. Let's see. Because I think I named it Stripe because of the stripes it has on its body. Like I said, a little bit of a basic name, but no, I'm not Stripe. No, yeah, yeah, Stripe, 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 Stripe. Name it Stripe. So we had Stripe in that one, and we moved on to episode 13 from here. Now in episode 13, we went ahead and went over the team again. It's exactly the same as the episode ended. Raining, Aftermath, Mega Drain, Stun Sport, Strength, uh, Wigger uh, Strength, Slash, Upper, Endor, with Rocket, His Ability, Item, Silk, Scarf, uh, Belly, Zoom, Roll, Surf, Bubble, Bee, Roll, Out, Aqua, Ring, Traces, Her Ability, with Quick Claw, uh, Luxury, no, oh, I went too fast on that one. Sphinx Electra with Spark Bite, Roar Charge, normalizes his ability, which is really unfortunate. Uh, and then we move on to work the champion with um, Fortress with Twin Needle, Mirror Shot, Bite Bite, Spike Static, as his ability holding the King's Rock. 
Gloop the Gastron with Surf Rain, Dance Mud Bomb, and Hidden Power with Swift Swim as his ability. I went too fast in that episode on the team recap, but we are in a Safari Zone. We end up heading into the Safari Zone from this point on. I went ahead and actually checked the shops that were around. There's really nothing there, so that's why I didn't even bother including it in this gameplay because there's really nothing of value in the shop. So just went ahead and nixed that. There's no point in showing it because there's, there's really nothing to happen. But I went ahead, paid the money, head into the Safari Zone, and just immediately I go straight for my first encounter. Now the question of the day for this one was actually, do you prefer the Kanto Safari Zone or the Johto Safari Zone? I said Kanto, I thought Kanto had a lot more to do. I thought Johto had a lot more to do. My memory of it was a bit skewed, uh, but I went ahead and said Kanto. I just thought there was a lot more to it. I thought there was a lot more story significance. There's a lot more progression with it. More items you can find, more interesting Pokemon, but we got a Magmar as our first encounter. And I was like, okay, okay. And I made the mistake of throwing a ball right away. I honestly, I, I regretted it immediately. I should have thrown a bait or something. And of course, the Magmar breaks out right away and runs away as soon as it breaks out. Now right here, went ahead and I was trying to those dowsing machines. You can see on the bottom screen that I'm trying to figure out how this thing works. Trying, trying, I went ahead and fast forward this because it was a long, a long process of me just trying to figure out what this thing does, how it works. I even looked it up and I just could not figure it out for the life of me. I could not figure it out. So I just decided to give up. I literally, I just, after all this, I ended up throwing my hands. I was just like, I'm done. I'm leaving. Uh, there's no point in staying here. We ended up leaving the Safari Zone going all the way back to Yucatik so we can make our way to Mahogany Town. Now right here, we make our way to Route 42. I end up crossing the water and I go here and what do I see? Sweeker. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Okay, <laughs> like randomly. I honestly forget a lot of the story beats in this game, so I forgot that you do run into Suicune here, you run into, I forget the guy's name, uh, the one who's chasing Suicune. I, I forgot that Puppet was the one that had Cut, and uh, obviously Puppet's not with us anymore. So I ended up having to teach Cut to, I believe, yeah, Raiden. I taught it to Raiden, so that one uh, gave it to her. I replaced Worry Seed because like I, I said in the video, uh, it doesn't really affect me it affects the other pokemon there's really very few scenarios that worry seed will come into play so one hand replaced it with cut to give her another attacking move as well cut it down and right here we continue the story uh walk in on the suicune and there was a moment because right here suicune jumps jumps and just pushes me out the way and i was like what the hell you jerk like you just really push me out the way like that and then you see it shows up suicune how refreshing it is how beautiful it is and how quickly it moves Lonely Hermit, you seem to be right where will appear. Well, that's okay. My desire to show you Suicune is... I read really slow. I'm reading really slow. I must have had, I must have said something here. <laughs> I think I said something to like, I'm sorry, Suicune. I didn't mean to be very mean to you. Uh, we're cool. We're buddies. I really want you to be my Pokemon. I'm really sorry I called you a jerk. Even though I didn't actually say jerk in the video, I think I said something worse. Uh, I, just, I was just like, uh, I, I'm sorry. We're cool, I'm cool with you, and I love you. I hope you become one of my Pokemon one day, and then you see him finish this talking, what's up, it's fun to you after you, blah, 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 blah. He's just jealous that Suicune likes us more. Obviously, so we had that story beat. Then we kept heading down the route and made landfall in Mahogany Town. I ended up going into the Pokemon Center here to heal. But after that, we ended up heading up towards the route above, and this is close to the end of episode 13 because I just decided, you know, I want to save Mahogany Town, the Lake of Rage encounter for later. I believe that's going to be randomized to a shiny. I hope it is, so that'd be really cool. But we head up here to this next route. Go ahead and head into the grass, get our encounter. And it is a muck. It's not a great encounter. I'm not the biggest fan of muck. If you watch my Gen 1 Pokemon series video that just came out, uh, I'm, not a, I'm not the biggest fan of muck. Uh, but I ended up catching it anyways as stun sport it. Obviously, the story of this, story of these last couple episodes has been a lot of encounters. So I stun sport it and hit me with the fat one slap, did nothing. So we just went ahead. I believe I tossed one ultra ball and it caught, or it might have been a great ball. I think it was are we attacked? Oh no no no, yeah, yeah, we threw we threw an ultra ball. Did we throw Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. We ended up throwing a great ball. I, mean, I changed my mind because like that's level 15. There's no point in throwing an ultra ball. Uh great ball, I believe we catch this first time. No problem there. Three, two, one, boom. Caught it. I don't remember what I named it. I think I named it something really random because I mi I, I misspelled what I was originally trying to name it. I can't even tell you what I was originally trying to name it. Maybe I'll figure it out here when we go to nickname it. I think I misspelled it and that's why I ended up going with something else. I think I... What was I going to call it? Pork? Pork? I ended up naming it Pori. Um, 
so for porridge i guess i don't really know so i ended up naming porridge and that's that guys that is the end of episode 12 and 13 the little super cut i put together again technical difficulties technical difficulties if i could speak prevented me from unfortunately keeping these in a, in regular format uh if but here's a bonus question today for you guys if you guys enjoyed the format of the video let me know if you want to see a series like that where maybe i record the gameplay and you know commentate over it afterwards let me know if you guys would like to see that format but for now those are episode 12 and 13 we took on a gym we got a few encounters we made our way in mahogany town and that's pretty much where we're going to pick out pick up in episode 14 Teen. and if you guys enjoyed the video i know it was a bit of a weird one but if you guys enjoyed the video and if you're new here please leave a like and subscribe go check out the socials in the description twitter and instagram are both at herman lonely underscore please share the socials with all your friends family everybody know let the people know lonely humans where it's at and i'll see you guys later bye